In this morning's act of kindness, support for one of our own throughout the pandemic, an enormous push to support our small businesses. An estimated 100,000 businesses nationwide so far have closed during this pandemic. But thanks to some celebrity support, WCPO 9's Allie Kramer shows us how one business is going to be able to keep the lights on. The coffee exchange has been on a roller coaster ride since 2018 when fire destroyed their first business. They were able to reopen in this beautiful spot here in Pleasant Ridge in the start of 2020, only to have to close again two months later because of the pandemic. So finally, they are able to breathe easier with some much needed help. Uh, your video uh, and your message on the coffee exchange and sounds like a great spot. We just want to make sure we can give you the funds that you need to make sure you can get through this thing and get to the other end. That's Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy FaceTiming coffee exchange owner Sarah Peters. He launched the Barstool Fund as a way to raise money for businesses in need. So far, the fund has raised more than $36 million and has supported nearly 300 businesses. Sarah and her crew put together this little video and submitted her application last Wednesday. And by the weekend, I was at home. It was Saturday night and I was doing the dishes and I saw this number. Yeah, FaceTime number pop up on my phone and I, I still couldn't believe it. She was somewhat speechless in the call. Sarah says it still hasn't completely set in. You know, I think he has kind of a gruff, you know, exterior on his Instagram posts sometimes, but he was he seemed super genuine like he really, you know, loved that he was able to call and tell me this. And, and, um, and he just kept saying, you know, you know, this is, we're so happy to be able to help you. And it was, it was just, it was like talking to an old friend. It felt really great. She's receiving a $10,000 grant. It's going to pay our rent for a few months, bring back some staff members and, um, and do a few other things that we wanted to do before we, we open up the indoor dining again. The chairs have been up for almost an entire year now, but Sarah hopes to reopen to dine in customers this weekend. For now, reporting in Pleasant Ridge, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.